What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and today we have got a bit of a different video covering these Battlefront 3 rumours that have been circulating quite heavily over the last couple of days and I guess I just wanted to throw in my two cents since it does seem to be the talk of the town at the moment. There are a lot of rumours and speculation being thrown around right now. The Battlefront 3 is in development and stuff like that. And in all honesty, the majority of it is just clickbait trying to get some more views. Whether it be articles from gaming companies like IGN or simply just tweets and even videos on YouTube. And I guess I just wanted to bring some actual logic and reason to the conversation since unfortunately there is not much left of that on the internet these days. Now, with that being said, I want to make two things very clear before we start. One, despite saying I wanted to bring logic and reason to the conversation, this is still just my opinion, I don't know any of this for a fact, and no one does despite the way that some people are acting within the community. So I just want to make that clear, these are just my own thoughts and opinions on the topic and nothing else. Secondly, even though I'm kind of going against what most people are saying and probably sounding rather negative, that is not the case at all. I want Battlefront 3 as much as any human being on this planet wants it, I can absolutely assure you of that. But I do just want to stop all this talk of it being confirmed and getting people's hopes up. Essentially, I just want to help you guys temper your expectations and not get Get disappointed and hey if I'm wrong feel free to rub it in my face because I'll be as happy as anyone if we do end up getting Battlefront 3 in the near future. Now just quickly my good friends Split Screen and the Twisted Jedi have actually made their own videos on this topic as well just in the last few days so if you do want to go and check those out and get another opinion on this topic as well then I will leave a link to those videos down in the description as well. So anyway for those who haven't actually seen what has been going on with all these speculations there's been three different things that have happened within the last week all of which are leading people to think that Battlefront 3 is being teased by multiple sources. The first incident to happen was in the replies to a tweet from Christian Johannesson, who was the lead game designer on Battlefront 2, where he mentioned that Battlefront 2 is now free on the Epic Game Store, to which Peter Vesti, the studio level design director at DICE, replied, heard good things about this one. CJ then replied to that, and then another Twitter user replied saying Battlefront 3 is better, right? Obviously, since we don't have Battlefront 3, Peter Vesti replied with a gif of a guy counting to three and clearly being confused, and somehow, no idea how this was the direction that it was taken. This sparked the assumption all over Reddit that this was a tease for Battlefront 3. Now to me, a guy being confused about the number 3 is quite literally the opposite of a tease, but some people on the internet thought otherwise. And so anyway, that was the first case of these rumours starting on the internet. Since then however, Peter Vesti has quite literally confirmed that he just chose the GIF randomly. There wasn't meant to be any sort of tease or anything like that, so again, I'm not really sure how people took it that way, but it is what it is. Now the very same day I believe, or maybe the next day, there was a really in-depth post on Reddit about Janina Gavanka, who we all know plays Item Versio. Anthony Sciorti, who played Admiral Garrick Versio, and TJ Romini, who was Dal Miko. The post pretty much goes into depth on how it's confirmed on their own Twitter accounts that TJ and Anthony are actually working on the same project, which involves motion capture, so it's likely a video game, although that is not by any means confirmed, and that Janina was actually posting on her own Twitter account with a shush emoji and a picture of a mocap suit as well. And all of these tweets from all three of them were in roughly the same time frame, I think all within maybe two or so weeks of each other. Now, on top of that they were all confirmed to be in LA as well so they're all obviously in the same location and there have been a few rumors that there is obviously a respawn studio in LA so that's kind of the talk of the town in that situation right now and it does make for a pretty compelling argument obviously that is pretty sus in a way three actors who worked on Battlefront 2 all of a sudden all working on something that involves motion capture with TJ and Anthony actually confirming that they are working together and all three of them making it clear that they can't say what it is yet at face value that is definitely something to get excited about there's kind of two sides to this one, with one side pretty much almost instantly just saying, yep, Battlefront 3 is confirmed, while the other side are just instantly dismissing it without even stopping to think. I'll be honest, I'm kind of in the middle. I think it is pretty naive to just completely disregard something without even thinking about it, because it does make a compelling argument. But I'm also not going to say that this is confirmation of the game being worked on. Actors work together again all the time, and all of these actors have done motion capture work before, obviously, so it's by no means confirmation either. It's definitely an interesting theory, and I'll leave a link to the Reddit post down below for those who want to read it, but again, it's hardly confirmation of the game being developed. Now, the final piece of the puzzle that people seem to be raving about is that literally earlier today as I'm recording this, probably three or four days before you're watching the video, an official rebrand happened on Twitter with the announcement of the Lucasfilm Games account, which is described as the official home for Lucasfilm Games on Twitter, bringing you the latest news on Lucasfilm Games in the Star Wars galaxy and beyond. 
Now, people absolutely freaked out about this. They assumed that it was a new version of LucasArts, who obviously used to make the old Star Wars games. They assumed it meant there was going to be some huge news coming and all that type of stuff. And because of the noise about Battlefront 3 in the past few days, of course, this has now ended up as somehow even more confirmation that Battlefront 3 is on the way. All we know so far is that this is just a rebrand or possibly a new division that will be the official identity for all gaming titles from Lucasfilm. And honestly, as of right now, I take it that this is just instead of seeing the Lucasfilm logo when you're loading up a Star Wars game, it will say Lucasfilm Games now instead. There's nothing really here that mentions anything more than that. For example, when LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga drops later this year, it will likely have a Lucasfilm Games logo at the start of it now rather than just Lucasfilm. Almost like they're just kind of creating another branch of the company that will be working directly with the studios making their games, whether that is just EA Studios, whether the license eventually becomes not exclusive, whatever the case may be. We obviously know that with a game like Battlefront 2, there is a team at Lucasfilm who does have to work directly with the developers. So for me, I just take it as this is a group of people that are going to specifically be working with the studios that are making their games. So again, I haven't really thought too much into it. Again, I could be completely wrong, but that is just what I've taken from the news so far. Hey guys, editing Sammy here from the future. How are we all going boys? Well, turns out pretty much like I was saying that this doesn't necessarily mean Star Wars news. Just as of probably half an hour ago, it turns out that Bethesda is actually making an Indiana Jones game and that has been announced on the Lucasfilm Games Twitter account. Now, this is essentially what I was saying. It doesn't necessarily mean that we're just getting some new Star Wars news. Now, it doesn't also prove that we aren't going to get some. Maybe tomorrow, then we do end up getting some Star Wars news as well. But this is essentially just proving the point that I was trying to make that just because we got this rebrand, it does not mean that we are getting more Star Wars news. Now, that's just what I can gather so far. There's literally no more news than that. And although I could be very wrong on this like I just said we just don't know yet and that is what confuses me the most why everyone is immediately confirming everything and starting all of these wild rumors which like I said earlier have now gone past YouTube and Reddit clickbait becoming full-on articles from IGN and other companies like that when the average person sees an article from IGN they're probably gonna believe that it's legit and then all that's doing is just getting people hyped over something that we don't know is happening as of right now now, you might be wondering why I seem so adamant that it's not happening, but I do have my reasons as for why that's the case. And again, I am just using common sense and logic here. It's not like I'm just pulling stuff out of my ass to make a counter argument. I do have genuine reasons and evidence to support my claim that I don't think Battlefront 3 is being worked on. It's been confirmed by multiple developers and inside sources that a large amount, if not the majority of those who worked on Battlefront 2, have now moved over to work on Battlefield 6, as obviously DICE does make both Battlefront and Battlefield as well. Battlefield Battlefield 6 is coming out in late 2021, likely October or November, and this game is borderline do or die right now for DICE after the mess that was Battlefield 5. Now, a lot of people wonder why EA would be so stupid to focus on Battlefield over Battlefront when obviously Star Wars is one of the most loved and most popular IPs in the world, and again, just using logic, this is the reason that that is the case. Battlefield is their IP, Battlefront is not. When EA and DICE release a Battlefield game, it's completely their own thing. They can make it set in whatever era they want, they can add any locations, weapons or vehicles that they want, and they can keep it ultra realistic, or they can make it a little bit more unrealistic like they did with Battlefield 1, where they confirmed this is our take on the events of World War 1, meaning not all of the weapons were actually around at the time and stuff like that. They slightly differed from the actual history in order to make the game a better game, and they're able to do that because it is their own franchise. With Battlefront though, they have to to do what Disney and Lucasfilm tell them to or at least negotiate and come to an agreement. If they want to add a certain thing to the game because it's what the fans want but Disney doesn't allow it because it's not canon or whatever the case may be, well then tough luck, they're not allowed to do it. Now, the other side of this is that for Battlefield, they'd get 100% of the revenue or at least close to it when you account for, say, online stores or whatever, but they take pretty much all the revenue from the sales of the game as well as microtransactions and all that. With Battlefront though, Disney and Lucasfilm do have a cut in the revenues, so if Battlefront 2 and Battlefield 5 both sold the exact same amount of copies, they'd actually earn a lot more for Battlefield than they would for Battlefront, which is, again, just another reason why it is more important to them. Now, the reason they likely moved all the developers over to Battlefield is because, like I said, Battlefield is teetering on the edge of disaster after their last game, and seeing as it is DICE's main property, they need it to perform well. Otherwise, that's a huge hit on the business, and so that's why, to them, Battlefield is far more important right now than Battlefront is. Battlefront 2 took roughly two years to develop, maybe even three if they had have already set plans in motion for the second before Battlefront 2015 came out, which is definitely possible because the sequel trilogy was on its way, and so Lucasfilm could 
could have definitely greenlit the sequel to Battlefront 2015 before even releasing the first game. We have no idea about any of that, but what we do know is that it took at least two years minimum to make Battlefront 2. Well, if Battlefield 6 launches in late 2021 and then they do plan to make a Battlefront 3, well, it'll still take them two years from that date at an absolute minimum, taking us to November 2023, almost three years away as of right now, until essentially the absolute earliest date that we could possibly see a Battlefront 3. Now, the only exception to this that I could see, which don't get me wrong, it is very possible, would be if maybe while DICE are working on Battlefield companies like Criterion, Motive and Respawn are helping in the early stages of development, doing some of the mocap and writing the story and early concepts and all that stuff, at which point, sure, right at this very moment, they could be working on it. But I do still think that is pretty far-fetched, and that's just pure conjecture as of right now. There's absolutely no evidence to support that. Based on pretty much everything that I've said so far, I'm sure you'd agree that it does seem pretty pretty unlikely that Battlefront 3 is in development right now. I don't know any of this for a fact. I could be completely wrong and I desperately hope that I am. But I do just think that it's stupid to get our hopes up about this right now and that's essentially the whole point of this video. That's not to say that I don't think we'll ever get Battlefront 3. I really do believe pretty strongly actually that after the turnaround of Battlefront 2 and the fan support for the game after they ended content updates, that one day we will most likely get a Battlefront 3. But as I said earlier, I'd put my money on say 2023 or 2024 at the absolute earliest if we ever do get it, rather than anytime soon like some of these people are claiming. There's a pretty severe clickbait issue in this community, not just now, but for the last three to four years, honestly, and as someone who doesn't clickbait and doesn't bullshit his way to success, I essentially just want to call it out when I see it, because all it does is hurt the community, causing division and just toxicity, all the while lining the pockets of those very clickbaiters and leaving the rest of the actual hardworking, honest creators in the dust, wondering why we can't grow and see success at the same level. Let me know what you guys think of this whole situation down in the comment section. Please be respectful respectful of each other down there, there's no reason to be toxic and argue with everyone, but I do want to hear what you guys think about it all as it is definitely a very interesting and unique time in this community. That is going to do it for this one though guys, if you enjoyed the video then be sure to leave a like down below and if you are new then consider subscribing to the channel with those notifications on. Thank you all so much for watching, you guys have a great day and I'll catch you all in the next one. Trust me.